bike out. It's a hot day today. Um, not doing any riding today because uh, I have to work from home. Um, but I tell you what, I am going to go do. Um, we're going to talk about Vance and Hines. All right. So, like I said, we're going to talk about Vance and Hines. Man, it is a hot day here in Austin. We had a cold front come in, so instead of it being 108 or whatever it was two days ago, it's now 98, so yay for cold fronts. Anyway, we specifically are going to talk about Vance and Hines, and specifically this exhaust, the uh, Vance and Hines uh, slash cut 3 inch. And what I think about them, and um, maybe we'll do a little bit of a sound test so everybody can hear them. So uh, let's talk about them. So I've been riding now with these exhausts, the Vance and Hine exhaust, for just a couple of uh, months. Prior to that, I had the uh, Radiant Shorty GPs, and I didn't like the Radiant Shorty GPs because they were too short and they like reverberated right in my right ear. <clears throat> So I wanted something that was a little bit longer. I didn't want to do a specific um, type of exhaust that I was going to do. Um, you know, have to do a full exhaust like I wanted to do slip-ons. Primarily because of cost. So I can get the sound, I can get some performance, not the most performance. Um, but it gets me what I want and uh, it's a little bit less than I would normally spend. So the uh, Vans and Hines, they come in at about... Um, I don't know, somewhere around four hundred dollars, and they sound amazing. You get the option of putting in a baffle. You can buy the baffles separate if you want. I did not put baffles in, so in a minute we'll turn this on and I'll let you guys hear it. Um, but without the baffles, it's pretty loud. Um, they, uh, like I said, are um, slip-ons. So just like all other slip-ons, you've got to wiggle off your old exhaust, and these actually will just slip right on so they come kind of in the piece where you've got the chrome exhaust itself uh, and then this metal sheath that goes over the top of it and I like that a lot because like in the back right here you've got the chrome ring that's kind of comes out the back you know and the Vans and Hines engraved is all blacked out so it fits the the bike pretty well so I mean when you look at the bike as a whole you know the slash cut exhaust how far they come out like they don't come way out like the stock does but they come out far enough to kind of give it that nice um, kind of a long look um, and it puts the exhaust further back or far enough back that it doesn't uh, completely destroy my ears um, so when I put the uh, Vance and Hines on I also did the Trask intake and then I put a tier one tuner so the bike itself is all tuned. Um, manufacturer says that if you're just doing the exhaust, no tunes needed. If you're just doing the uh, um, intake, no tune is needed, but if you do them both, you might want to tune. Um, I get a lot of comments about the exhaust, uh, the sound of it, how throaty it is. Um, you know, I ride along with a guy that also has a Harley. He's got Vance and Hines and, you know, like hearing Vance and Hines on another bike just, I don't know, they, they sound great. They're a great sounding uh, product. Um, so uh, let's take a second, turn them on, let y'all hear it. So anyway, what would you guys think of it? I think it sounds pretty nice. Um, this will be a pretty short video because I really just wanted to talk about my Vance and Hines, show you all kind of what I got so far. Um, I really like them. And, uh, you know, if you guys are looking to a set of uh, uh, slip-ons, you know, I highly recommend the Vance and Hines. Um, some other things that I wanted to talk about real quick, and we'll touch on this, is um, I'm going to change up kind of how I'm doing my videos from now on. I just recently bought the Ruroc helmet and I really don't want to hang a camera off the Ruroc helmet. 
So I'm going to be thinking about some different camera angles and I'll probably doing um, a lot more face to face with y'all rather than some writing. Um, I might um, be looking at uh, attaching um, a camera. Let's see if I can swing you guys around. I might be thinking about attaching a camera to the handlebars that kind of extend out above the, um, the fairing so you get that point of view and I'm probably going to also put uh, a camera here facing me so you can actually see the uh, my face and the helmet itself. I think that that'll be kind of nice. I think that angle will be kind of cool, especially on some of the rides that I'm going to be doing here before too long. Uh, like I said, we are going to go to, uh, I am going to be going to Sturgis. So when I get out into, um, you know, the nice rides in the hills in Sturgis, it's going to be kind of fun to see that point of view from the bike as it's really leaning. Um, and we'll play with a bunch of other point of views. Um, I've got a couple different mounts coming for the bike. Um, I've got one um, that I think is going to work where it mounts. Um, I've got a sissy bar coming and I think it's going to mount on the sissy bar and it might have this perspective of kind of someone sitting behind me on my shoulder. Um, anyway, we'll just play around with it. It's kind of fun. I'm just interested in trying all these different camera angles um, and see what comes of it. So anyway, uh, new vlog slash camera setup coming. Um, but Manson Hines, bueno. Uh, if you guys like this video, found it helpful, uh, do me a favor, punch that subscribe, uh, ding that notification bell, and give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you later. Stay safe. Peace.